While autonomous driving vehicles may be inevitable, we might be a little farther away from the future than we thought. Yesterday, video surfaced showing a minor accident in Silicon Valley in which a Google self-driving car sideswiped a city bus. This is apparently the first time an autonomous vehicle was to blame for an accident. So the Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority released a video from inside the bus showing you this, this minor traffic incident. It actually happened on Valentine's Day on El Camino Real, which is, it runs through Google's hometown of Mountain View, California. As it turns out, we have footage of this minor vehicle infraction. Let's take a look. So as you can see from that harrowing footage, it's remarkable that everyone was safe. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. But so as you can see, it was very, very simple. The, the Google vehicle just sideswiped the bus. But I found it interesting the reasons why it happened. So the car, as you can see, was in the right hand lane. It was getting ready to turn. And what had happened was there were sandbags in the, the storage drain pipe and that the, the Google car saw and then stopped, saw that there was the bus coming. But its computer brain basically told it that oh, the bus will yield for me, and so that's why it, it swept over and, and hit the bus. What do you think about that? Right, well, they didn't uh, tell the computer, uh, the robot driving, that bus drivers are dicks and they're not going <laughs> to stop for you ever. Right. Because the bus driver assumed that they weren't going to go, and then the computer kind of computed somehow that the bus was going to stop, mm -hmm. and then that's when it happened, right? And, you know, Google has actually taken responsibility. They, 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 they maintain that the bus driver, like, they make sure to say the bus driver thought we were going to stay and we mm -hmm. thought he was going to go. But it's totally the, the computer's fault, right? Yeah, well, and the thing that I find interesting is the fact that there's still we're still in the infancy of this technology, right? So generally speaking, these uh, Google autonomous vehicles, they stay towards the middle of the, the lane. But developers are starting to give them a little bit more sophistication to basically recreate what happens in the to recreate the spirit of the road as they say so what the the car was trying to do was hug the right lane so that while it's getting ready to turn right if people were if there were pedestrians crossing then other drivers could pass it on on the backside but then of course the sandbags came into the the equation and there you go so i think to me the biggest the bigger conversation here is not the fact that oh autonomous vehicles are dangerous that you know there there's no way that we can make the technology more sophisticated it's just the fact that there's still quite a ways to go there's still other humans on the road exactly so if that bus was being driven by a robot right mm -hmm. then or a computer then it would they would have communicated and one would have told the other right mm -hmm. i'm gonna go you stay or you stay i'm gonna go and that's the way it is but it just shows uh, that we're still in the infancy of the uh, self-driving autonomous car era. And you know, I'm all for it. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not one of those people who are like, oh, I don't trust no robot. Like, yeah. Calm down. It's much safer. I was, in the fr I was in the car with a friend the other day. She's like, you know, texting with one hand, like drinking her Starbucks while driving. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like, I would rather have a robot not texting and drinking Starbucks, you know, right. than you. Well, and like I said, it's you shouldn't just undercut the entire technology because there's this one infraction. Like I said, this is the first, first time, time a, yeah. a Google car has been responsible for as we saw a ridiculously simple uh, traffic incident. So we'll continue to see if these, if these autonomous vehicles are able to develop the spirit of the road.